Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer photos or videos from your Android phone over to your Windows computer and I'm going to be showing you how to do this through USB. So as long as your computer has USB ports either on the front of it or the back of it or if it's a laptop you could possibly have these on the side of your computer then what you want to do is take the charging cable that came with your phone. This is the one that I have here. Uh, for my OnePlus 7 Pro. That's the end that's gonna go into the computer. And then this end is gonna go into my phone. So it's really as simple as plugging in it to the back of your PC or wherever you have an open USB port. And then the other end I'm gonna plug into my phone and then I'll take you to the next step in this process. Hey guys, it's also important for me to note that if you're having issues with your phone connecting to your computer over USB, what you wanna do is in your phone settings, drag down the top screen area and try to find your little gear settings and click on that. And then click on where it says Bluetooth and device connection. Basically what we're trying to do is find the area where it says USB. And then we're gonna click on where it says USB under the Bluetooth and device connection area. And make sure that your USB settings are toggled to the file transfer option. If it's in no data transfer, then you're not gonna be able to transfer those photos or videos from your Android phone over to your computer. So just make sure that you have file transfer selected and you should be good to go at that point. So now I'm gonna head on over to my computer to take you into the next steps of this process. All right, guys, so now I'm over on my computer, and you might be fortunate enough that as soon as you plug your phone into your computer through the USB port, that this page might automatically pop up for you where it has the internal storage of your phone. At that point, it's as simple as opening up the internal storage, finding the folder that has your videos in it, and for a lot of you, it's gonna be called DCIM. However, there might be a separate folder that also could have those videos in them, but try DCIM first, and then open up camera, and it should have all of the photos and videos that you've taken on your phone should be in this particular folder. If it's not, again, you can search those other folders as well. But if this file explorer page does not automatically pop up when you plug your phone in, what you can also do is go up to your taskbar and find the little search magnifying glass. We're gonna open that up. And then down here in the search area, type in file explorer. And as soon as you type in File Explorer, it should be the top result, the File Explorer application. Just click to launch it. And then down here on the side under this PC, one of them should be something that looks like your phone. Now, for me, it's called GM1917, so not necessarily something I would typically recognize as being my phone. Yours might be actually named after the brand of your phone or the type of phone, but one of these folders should be your phone. You just click on it, and again, it takes us to the page that I had been on prior where it has the internal storage, and again, you just open it up, find your folder that has your camera in it, and again, it will have all of those photos and videos. So now at this point, as soon as you have the area that has all of your photos and videos in it, if we wanna transfer these videos over, we have many different options. You can drag and drop these videos wherever you want. Let's say you wanted to put them in the videos folder that is in your PC. You'd simply take your video file, drag and drop it right into the videos area. Now, you can also create a specific folder just for the videos that you wanna drag and drop over onto your PC. Let's say we wanted to do it right here on our desktop. As you can see, I have a lot of folders that are on my desktop. These are future video plans that I have on my YouTube channel, and I often have a lot of folders Folders, but let's say I wanted to add a new folder here for the videos that I'm gonna be transferring over. So you just right click anywhere on your desktop screen, go down where it says new, hover over that and click folder. And you can name this folder whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it videos. So now I have a new folder that's right here on my desktop that's gonna have all of my videos in it. So let's say I wanted to take this video and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop it right into this folder. And then it gets added. And when I double click on this videos folder, it opens up the folder itself and you can see there is that video that I just drag and dropped over into that area. And again, like I said, you can drag and drop these videos wherever you want onto your computer, whether it's in one of these different folders that you have over on the side of the file explorer, such as your videos folder, or perhaps you wanna make a specific folder and drop it somewhere on your desktop, you can do that as well. Like I said, there's just a bunch of different options of where you can store these videos on your computer. So just to do a quick recap, make sure that your phone is plugged in to your PC through the USB cord and hopefully 
Preferably, it is the USB cord that came with your phone. There are a lot of USB cables out there that don't have the ability to transfer data. So even though it might plug your phone into charge, it might not have the ability to transfer videos or photo files over your, to your PC. So that's something to keep in mind. You also need to make sure that the USB setting on your phone is set to file transfer so that you have the ability to take these files and transfer them over to your PC. And then once you find the exact folder, in your phone that has your videos or photos, you just go ahead and drag and drop them wherever you want them on your PC, and you should be good to go at that point in time. So I hope this video is helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you back here next time.